got an interesting video for you guys today. So listen, the video topic is successful men who made it to the top are the most peculiar or peculiar, right? And insane men. I So listen, the most successful men that you see in this day and age they were the most peculiar and insane. So what do I mean by this? These people who made it to the top, they were deemed as peculiar. They were different. They were like not of this world. They were insane, excuse me, to the masses. They thought, people thought they were weird, right? Now, it's a reason for this. <laughs> The most craziest people or people who challenge other people's perceptions of this life or their beliefs, individuals like me and you who are deemed as crazy, usually be the ones who make it to the top. And let me tell you why that is, because individuals like me and you can see beyond what the average conditioned mind can see. So the average conditioned mind can't fathom or perceive certain shit that you can see or believe or know. You get what I'm saying? So this is why individuals like that make it to the top. It's because they challenge reality itself. You get what I'm saying? Like they are free thinkers. There's nothing conditioning or holding their mind, right? And I mean to say hold. There's nothing conditioning or controlling their minds so they can think outside the box and they can see past and see into the future you get what I'm trying to say so these individuals are not limited by any beliefs they are free their mind is free they have unlocked their brain and they are utilizing the most powerful tool in their arsenal which is the mind right the brain is the physical manifestation of the mind so individuals like me and you right are usually the ones who make it to the top we are peculiar the Bible told us we are peculiar people you get what I'm saying we would be considered insane to the masses because me and you are not of this world we think different our mentality is that of gods my bad no cap and shit just now <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna believe this shit, but um, while I was recording, right, a fucking mouse like ran right here ahead. But I'm gonna get back to the video. But yeah, they have the mindset of a god, G. They really do know they can do whatever they want, and it's like because their mind is free, they know their power, they know they are a creator, bro. They know how to utilize that tool, which is the brain. So it just hit me because it's like individuals during these times will say that, man, you are crazy. Even if motherfuckers know it's the truth, but their mind is having a hard time accepting the truth. Because let me tell you something about the truth. You'll know the truth when you hear it. No matter what the situation is, trust me, you will know the truth when you hear it. My bad, I had to reflect on that. But it's really deep. It's really deep. Individuals who make it to the top are the ones who are deemed as crazy by society. The ones who are insane. They said these people had issues. There's something going on with these individuals' minds. And there's nothing going on with their minds. It's just 
they have broken free from the chains, the inhibitors that society has conditioned us to have. They broke the chains of it. They have broken the chains. There's nothing constricting or holding back their minds anymore. So their imagination is off the charts. So they challenge reality on a daily basis, dude. They challenge reality itself because your mind is everything, G. And it's not like a placebo or anything, no. Your mind is legitimately everything in this life. The law of mentalism states that all is the mind. The universe is mental. So if we live inside the universe, G, and you are a universal cosmic being, that means you have all access to everything in this universe because you are God experiencing itself in this vessel. So God means generator, operator, dispenser. So individuals like me, you know that we are divine beings, spirit beings with the ability to create our reality and manifest to our fullest potential. You feel me? So we know these things. So to those who haven't unlocked their minds, the thought of manifestation, the thought of us really be considered gods, because we are God. They can't accept that in their mind because their mind has been fucked up. They probably still watch porn. Their mind isn't clear. Um, they probably still believe in the Bible, which is designed to make you go outside of yourself when the universe is inside of you. You are the microcosm of the macrocosm. So that means you are everything in a condensed form. You are the universe in a condensed form. You feel me? You are the universe. In the physical, you are the micro of the macro. You are the small version of the large. You get what I'm saying? So everything is within you, G. You are a fucking universal being, bro. With the ability to create and control your reality. What do you think the news is? These people know, right? Let me one pause. So anyways, like I was saying, <laughs> That's what the news and shit is for, is to control your mind so you believe what they're showing you, bro. It's all up here, G. Whatever, whatever they show you on the news, if you still living in that third dimensional shit, that's gonna be your reality. That's all this shit is. The people outside of the news, the people who make the news and put the news on the TV, they know the damn truth. They know certain beings have the ability to create their reality. But then they know that certain beings will never be able to indoctrinate, get out of that indoctrinated mindset. That was the whole point, is to program your mind and keep your mind in chains for the rest of your life. So you can't realize that everything is mental for real, for real. <laughs> everything that you think don't exist, it do exist. You feel me? It's deep. It's very deep, G. So, I wanna let y'all know, man, the most phenomenal man They were deemed as crazy before they came up. And they're still to this day deemed as crazy to the masses who are still asleep, who don't know how powerful they really are. And that's okay. So this is some type of confirmation to tell you, keep going no matter what people say, no matter what people try to throw on you. Cause you're gonna have people who know you're intelligent as fuck, but their mind can't grasp how intelligent you really are. Like they know what you say is a hundred. They know you intelligent, they know you smart as fuck, they know you know your shit. But out of like, jealousy, 
hatred, envy. They will try to project like this person's crazy. <laughs> because they sleep, G. You got to understand, it's certain shit that you do in this life that help you unlock your mind, bro. But it takes time and practice and discipline and just learning and shit, G. I'm telling you, it starts with your vessel. You got to start doing good habits for your vessel. You got to start drinking water. That shit help your mind, bro. It will help your mind. You feel me? Soda, all that shit destroys your mind. Them J's, the weed, that shit fuck your mind up. Yes, it will give you higher states of consciousness, but a lot of y'all ain't hitting real weed. Y'all hitting bullshit ass weed. You feel me? Y'all are hitting bullshit weed, genetically modified weed. Y'all not hitting real herbs. You feel me? So I'm telling you, cuz, y'all gotta start doing things that's gonna help unlock your mind. Meditation, water, sun gazing, walking barefoot. That shit is all designed to help strengthen your mind. Unlock your mind, fam. Alright? So listen, the most phenomenal men were weird, peculiar, and they were insane to the masses because the way that they see things, their perceptions of life, it challenged other people's beliefs. And it's okay. Look, people be trying to say I'm crazy. Now, I know I ain't crazy. Motherfuckers know I ain't crazy. But I'm telling you, it's something about when you break free of the matrix, when you escape the matrix for real, and you can think outside of the box and you can see what others can't see. They're going to say you crazy, so it is what it is. Don't let these people limit you, man. You are awakened, bitch. You are alive. People is alive, but they're dead, bro. They are just breathing. They don't even know who they are. They mind so fucked up and conditioned from years of school, years of television, years of lies, deceit, that it's like damn near impossible for them to grasp your perceptions and knowledge and wisdom because it's all levels to this shit man everybody ain't on your level some may never get on your level it's levels to spirituality it's levels to wisdom it's levels to knowledge it's levels to vibration all right i want you to understand that everything is vibration the more you raise your vibration the more awareness in the mind you are going to gain the more smarter you're going to become because knowledge is not in a low vibration knowledge is in the he in the heavens knowledge is in the unseen information comes from up there that's where all the divine cosmic intelligence is it's not right here in this third dimension you have to raise your energy up so you can connect to the higher intelligence the universe you get what I'm saying It's deep so these individuals who made it to the top who were peculiar to the masses insane to the masses bro these people were tapping into higher intelligence Connecting with different angels, sending them thoughts about certain shit, wisdom. Yeah, because vibration, knowledge is in the heavens. Divine cosmic intelligence is in the heavens. Why do you think certain spiritual influencers, they talk about things or they get knowledge or have wisdom that you never heard before? Where are they getting this shit from? Where are you, my bad, where are you getting this shit from? Where are you getting this shit from? You're getting it from God, G. God is blessing you with this wisdom. Because it's vibration. The higher your vibration, the more knowledge you will gain, bro. Also, not to mention, your vessel has information of billions and millions of years of animal DNA and your ancestors. Your ancestors use the same body. So when you raise your vibration, you are connecting to the information in the cosmos and you're connecting to the information that your ancestors have. The information is in your DNA. So you just gonna start learning shit and knowing shit when you raise your, raise your vibration. So these individuals raise their vibration so high to the point where if you're not on that frequency, you're not gonna know what they're talking about. You're gonna be so quick to say they're crazy. But you'll know they're telling the truth 
It's just spiritually you're not resonating with them. So listen, I'm wrapping this video up. I love you guys so much. Y'all stay tuned for more content. And yeah, thug on the rock on my game.